Welcome back, everybody. Let's do our nutrition review. And then I'll give you guys the access code for week three, day two. And we'll go over that as well. What is the difference between anabolism and catabolism? What does ana mean? Anamosis. Anna. Anna means to bring together. So building up things is anabolism. Think of anabolic steroids, right? When you take anabolic steroids, you want to build, right? Build. Kata means down, to break down, right? So we release energy in catabolism. And then anabolism, we build together. The combined, what's the combined? Both processes together. The whole thing is metabolism, right? So this is just a practice of prefixes. So ana is into complex, so that's building, so we got that. Kata is to break down for energy, so good. Overall process, metabolism. What adds bulk to the stool? So stool is another word for feces, fecal matter. So, yep, insoluble fiber. Which macronutrients allows for tissue repair? What are you mostly made out of? Water. Water, all right. Oh, next. <laughs> tissue repair, that's going to be, most of your tissue is made out of Meat, right? What's meat made out of? That's going to be your protein. Excess stores as glycogen or fat. If I have too much, I store it. This is stored in the liver. This is made, but what is converted into glycogen or fat? Carbohydrates. Very good. So sugar is converted into this is in the liver. Kind of like starch, but in the liver. And then, of course, fat. We know what that is. Concentrated source of energy. What has the highest amount of calories per gram? Well, in general, just the, uh, just the fats. So lipids are just fats. About nine calories per gram. Produced by the liver. Mm, those are vitamins. Uh, trans fat or in Twinkies. So, yeah, so sometimes remember it's not your fault that you have high cholesterol. It's your body. Your liver makes too much cholesterol. What has no caloric value? No caloric, yeah. Water, water. Remember it was negative calories if you. Drink ice, ice water. <laughs> Neutralizes free radicals. Trans fat. Trans fat. <laughs> AC and E, your antioxidant. So free oxygen radicals. And then lastly, form during hydrogenation of fats. Trans fat. Trans fat. <laughs> All right, not too bad. Better. All right, my plate. What is the my plate? Proportions. So it's split into some weird proportion, and then there's this third outball, oddball dairy one, right? So yeah, it's to get the correct proportions. So balance calories and proportions. Increase fruits and vegetables. So this was like fruit, veggies. That was like more than half your plate. And then lower your sugar, sodium. So just be sensible. Right? Smaller portions, I think that's the main thing. Our American portions, because we want value, 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 are like three regular portions anywhere else in the world. What factors does the physician consider when assessing a patient's nutritional status? 
What's that? Height and weight. Okay, they're starting height and weight. This time if they're trans or cis, right? <laughs> this time they're gender. All right. What else? Age. What's that? Like the of it. Oh yeah. They're psychological factors. Yeah. 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 They're current health issues. So let's see if we caught we got them all. So age we got, curtain health status, height and weight we got, body frame, circumference. That's kind of specific. Uh, that's composition. They're okay, okay. So a bunch of stuff. Ooh. So we got beliefs, culture. Ooh. So those island Polynesian cultures, like their meals are part of their tradition. And if you throw a party and you run out of food, that's a big embarrassment. And then in other cultures, if you do not leave with a to-go plate, then that is disrespectful. So you have to even take more food when you leave, right? Matching. Eliminate foods from diet. G. Changing. What? It doesn't make sense. Eliminate what kind of food? Okay, let's see what they say. They say C. Food allergies. Okay. Oh. Duh. <laughs> we were thinking I was, We were thinking somewhere else. So yeah, eliminate food from diet if you have an allergies. Food exchange system. Why do we have food exchange? No, not not the nutrient level. So this has to do with. Diabetes. So that's how fast certain foods turn into sugar. So you can swap one potato for five pounds of fish, right? One soda for 10 pounds of garlic. Oil. So that's all based on controlling blood sugar. Hunger drives eating. What? Drug therapy, no. Self regulated. Hunger drives eating. When I'm full, I stop. There you go. All right. So for children, satiety is built in with calorie intake. So don't force them to finish all their food when they're younger because they really are done. Modify to a soft diet. Now this is texture. So we mentioned if they have a partially paralyzed throat or can't swallow, might have like Parkinson's, right? can't control their muscles anymore than a soft diet. Liquids will make them choke. Reduce sodium. Parental? No. Drug therapy? What? I guess. Change in nutrient level. Bypasses the GI tract. Which one's IV feeding? Parental. So periental. That's tube feeding. May alter food intake and absorption. Drug therapy. <laughs> so the last one, hopefully, is the easiest one, right? A young female patient arrives in the clinic. 15 pound weight loss in two months. Her weight is 10 pounds under now the average for her height. And she says she feels fat. No, you can't diagnose. You're an MA. What do you do? You chart exactly what they say. All right. You do not say, oh, she's bulimic or anorexic because it might not be. It might be because she has an injury in her stomach and or something, right? Or her mirror is a funhouse mirror and that's why she feels fat. <laughs> All right, let's see what it says. So. All we can do is chart and then tell the doctor. So you guys got it. Document the weight loss, report it to the physician. That's it. She may be, so it's not our job to diagnose. We just report, report, report. What do you need to consider when teaching patient about nutrition? Well, everything, right? So name one thing. We, we kind of answered this question. It's kind of like the same, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, age, weight, current health. So, 
So it's pretty much the same. Let's see what differences, how, how different they want us to answer this one. So our likes and dislikes. So it's a lot of the initial thing we answered in the previous question, but more patient focused. To the assignment, week three, day two. Your access code is right, Med 200. This is week three, day two. So it comes from a question bank. So you might have some of these exact questions. Which of the following is made by the liver? Bio, secretion, bilirubin, amylase, trypsin. It's amylase, you agree? That's in saliva, that's in the pancreas. Yeah, that's the one they want. So they want bile that is stored in the gallbladder. Duh, yeah, it just processes bilirubin. These are all trypsin, that's from uh, the pancreas. Enzymes are important in the glu what's that? Chemical digestion? Yeah, I agree. Mechanical is just tearing stuff up, teeth, tongue. Deglutination, no, doesn't make sense. True or false, the pyloric sphincter keeps food boluses from re-entering the esophagus once inside the stomach. Is this the pyloric sphincter? What is this called? What's this sphincter called right here? Esophagus and stomach. This is the cardiac sphincter, right? So this is true or false? false. Pyloric is the one you pray to, remember? Oh. Ah, yeah, now you guys remember. The porcelain god, that's who you pray to. <laughs> pyloric sphincter. Please work, please stay working. Please stay working. <laughs> Do nutrition that is central for blood? Yep, iron. Make sure you have enough rusty nails in your diet. Which of the following are examples of food that contains complete protein? So it should be meats. Yeah, animal products will have the full complete uh, profile. Um, fish will have most of them. Beans, plant sources, not gonna have them all. So some vegans, they, they really struggle. Is she a vegan or yeah, close to it? And if it touched, if she don't want to have anything that touched, touched meat. meat. Yeah, it's like she can't pick the pepperoni off, right? Nope. She can't pick the pepperoni off. That means, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, she's a vegan, so it doesn't touch the meat. Yeah, she eats just bread, tomato, and, and chicken. chicken. Tofu <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Tofu cheese. <laughs> Number six. Which of the following are characteristics of saturated fat? The animal one, solid or solid, right? Divide for animal saw sources and use your solids. They've been demonized, but they're okay. Seven, if a patient's stomach is removed, a G tube may be used for feeding him. A gastric tube? If I remove the stomach, do I still have a gastric? Yeah, so if you have no stomach, then we gotta we gotta feed to the intestines. They can shove the tube past your stomach down into your intestines if they need to. So if they remove it, but that wouldn't be a G tube. That would be a intestinal tube. The tube from up your nose, yeah. Sometimes they'll push it further into your small intestine. But this this one just says G tube, so it ends at the stomach. Fat soluble vitamins are A, D, E, and K. Yeah, that one's good. Which of the following are either stored in the liver and muscle cells or converted into glucose and stored as fat? Yeah, those are carbs. Carbo loading. The outermost layer of the digestive tract is the. Yeah. 
Is that parietal or visceral? Visceral. It's on the organ, so it's visceral. If it's against the cavity, then it's parietal. Ascending colon becomes the sigmoid colon. So poop, poop goes down, then it does a wiggle, right? So this one's false. Poop goes up, poop goes over, poop goes down, then makes the wiggle. The stomach is able to absorb some alcohol. Right? The largest of the salivary glands is the parotoid. 14. Which disorder is commonly referred to as an upset stomach? So gaster for stomach. This is when your stomach pops into your esophagus, a hiatal hernia. The last one on this example, not a type of carb. So that's three fatty acids. Did the question you have show up? No. no. What was your question? Now, remember bile helps oil and water mix, remember? We don't want oily blood. We want creamy, creamy blood. Do the do we do autumn? Jujinum and then then the ilia. There you go. All right. So double check your responses before you submit, and don't forget your quiz opens now.